These are nice. These are Kobe 11 ID Mamba Days. And what I mean by that is Nike allowed people to go on Nike ID and customize their own Kobe ID with this upper print during Kobe's last game. So from whatever time the broadcast started and ended, I guess that was the time you could buy these. Now, a lot of people I know do have these. These are, I wouldn't say rare, but they are special, especially to me. They have a little special meaning in them. A lot of people could say this is Kobe's last shoe again, but not that he played in. The Fade to Black 11s were the last shoe he played in. And I guess this is not the last shoe because they've had so many other releases such as the Tinkerfield, the Mark, whatever's, I don't know what they're called. But let's talk about these a little bit. We do have that Mamba Day on the back. And just to throw it out there, I am using a clip on mic. So if this sounds good or bad, I will be using it for the video because I do want to get this video up for you guys. I haven't actually seen a lot of reviews on these online, especially on the big accounts that I do know of. So I'm not sure if it was because a lot of the guys like Kais was at the Laker game and they never actually knew they, these were releasing or they just haven't got theirs yet because I do know a lot of people have not got these yet and the guy who I got these from actually got them almost you could say early like he got them before everyone else which is sort of cool but shout out to the dude that I got these from at Lace Locked and Loaded yes Lace Locked and Loaded he basically hooked me up for retail 260 and I couldn't pass on these especially having the fate to black 11s and a lot of other crazy Kobe shoes but as I'm sure many of you guys saw at the beginning we do have a card it does have the same print on the front and then on here it says a bunch of, bunch of stats like his most high scoring game MVP honors all-star appearances championship rings number on his back so I guess they're saying that 24 is his best number I don't know the story began as the stance mounted so did the love and the hate love the truth because the numbers don't lie so that's basically everything and then on the box right when you open it up it does say made by you let's talk about the upper print a little bit and the overall shoe so we do have that mamba day upper as all of them do have this same upper i believe this is the default one that showed up when you went on nike id with this all same design and on this side it does say mamba and then on this one it does say 413 which is the day of his last final game these are pretty dope in my opinion i will be giving you guys an on foot look at these but i will not be wearing these in the future just because i want to keep these with my faded black 11s almost as like a special pack and i just wanted to let you guys know that i am in the basketball court in my neighborhood so i thought why not a better way to switch it up a little bit with a super dope basketball shoe on the court so that's why I did it out here and hopefully this mic is on point for you guys. So let's get to the on foot shots and wrap this video up. So I hope you guys like my review on these. Please, please, please make sure to leave a like down below and hit that subscribe button. My goal is to get to 50K by my birthday, which is June 27th, which is the day after SneakerCon LA. So make sure to leave a like down below. Comment down below if you got these already because I know a lot of people did get these, like I said. I'm Blake, your boy B Sneak. Peep the sample hoodie, and I'll see you guys next time. We out.
These are nice. I should cop, shouldn't I? So I'm copying these. 